G'day mates, welcome back to Wallonia and Leon de Grel. I just spent like the first few minutes before I started this uh, trying to sneeze and it's really annoying me because I've been unable to sneeze. And also, wow, this fucking front line. If the Germans had stopped attacking, that's a clever idea, but the Cindy's are clearly gonna... clearly gonna break through this. Oh god. There's so many of them though. Like look at these numbers, these are big numbers. If these guys had actually moved- wait. Why the fuck- oh, the Yankees have sent volunteers, haven't they? They've actually actually joined, have they? No, okay, just volunteers, right. Has volunteers from there. So they're supporting- Okay, well, I mean, Pharaoh. I'm glad to see the US is doing its part. I hope they will actually go with the Germans, because I rarely see that. They always go with the Entente on my, uh, on my runs. So last time we took out Denmark, we are now on our way yeah, to planning to take out- uh, Oh, hello. Oh, of course, right, because, yeah, obviously Siam's at war with us, aren't they? That's why they're joining the war here. Anyway, we're gonna go take out, uh, what's it called? The Viet Cong. Um, are we gonna do that? I mean, we might as well slowly actually increase our stability. Uh, our, sorry, bloody public... Oh, because what, what do you call it? Um, yeah, popularity, that's it. That's the, how we get our political power. Anyway, so we're gonna do that slowly. Uh, we're gonna not build any more units, we'll be fine. We're gonna do the naval invasion on uh, Indochina first, take them out, because that means the Japanese won't be able to use their navy against us, which they have a superior navy, or do they not? No, their navy's not amazing. All right, well, I assume the Germans have sort of beaten them on navy, yeah? Oof, no, actually, okay, well, we may have lost. If the, uh, it's called the Entente doesn't get involved, we may lose the navy side of things. I mean, I can obviously build a navy, the problem is manning it. I mean, it's not too bad, though. Wait, why am I going down in- wait, 0.6- negative 0.6 is mobilizing a day? What? Hang on, what? Why have we lost men? Military propaganda. Limited conscriptions that we need- should be at fu What the fuck? What? No, how have we gone down in manpower? What? What possibly has caused this? Why in the fuck are we going down in manpower? What? What? <laughs> How has this happened? We haven't reduced our conscription laws. We do we lose like a national spirit somehow? Because I know we had a, we had national spirits that gave us manpower before the. What the shit? What the shit? All right, well whatever. God fucking damn it! That's annoying. Why are we just losing manpower? Well. We are going to be a manpower uh, light nation for all of this game, and such is the life we'll have to live. But let's focus on actually dealing with this now. We're going to get more arms factories, I guess. Sure, yeah. Trench warfare. We'll go down here. Beautiful. We'll invade the Indo-Chinese, grab what they've got, then we'll take out the uh, Siam, then on to Burma. And that should hopefully finish that up. Oh, the Mongolian can't- wait, how in the fuck has this occurred? Mongolian Khanate has puppeted Yugoslavia and Marklik and <laughs> boy, oh wow, oh wow, this is um, are you Khan? Yep, you're Genghis Khan the second. Nice. This is certainly one of a place all around here. Are you Puyi or no? Pu oh yeah, it's right. Obviously, Puyi runs the runs the Quint, uh, the Chin. This rather the Ching rather rather than the uh, rather than Manchukarunos because obviously they run it in real life because they got booted out of the mainland. Not in this timeline. Right. I guess let's just keep boosting our guys up. Oh right, we're building the Jaegers. I'm trying to remember what happened last time because I played some more Hoi 4 in between then and now. Gotten the Jaegers, they'll, they'll be built up. That's fine. Wait, why do we have like French tanks? Where the fuck do we get French tanks from? Why have we got Renaults? <laughs> okay. Alright. God, if the, if the Germans just dig in like on a river, they could fucking hold- Oh, fuck it, on the, on, the, uh, on the Rhine. They could hold the uh, guys nice and easy, right? Just right here, way across. Hold them. Let some reinforcements come. What is this? What is this? Don't tell me. Uh, is it because they've got superior, uh, superiority? Probably. How are the Brits doing? Oh, God, they're so strong. Yeah, we'd need to, like, I feel like we'd want to focus on the Brits if we went to war. How are the actual... Weird, there's actually not... There's not many British people on the front line. Where are all the Brits, then? They're in the war, aren't they? They are. They have 160... The, the divisions just must be at home. Hmm, the Entente need to get involved in this war, it's not gonna go well, it's just, it's not gonna end the way I think it will. Alright. What do we need? Do we actually need more arms factories? Not particularly, we should be fine. 
So instead, let's focus on a few other things. Let's get some airbase. Let's get a central airbase going up. Upgrade a little bit. Let's get some anti-air. Let's boost... Oh, we've actually got, got enough forts. Let's boost the forts here, just in case. Um, anything else? Infrastructure, maybe? Boost this up slightly. Uh, and, oh yeah, the port. We need a... Oh, we already got a 10 10 port. That's, uh, port. that's fine. Means we can supply our boys elsewhere. Alright, how are we doing on this whole invasion idea? We actually got our guys here. Got five of them. Where are the rest? Are they still in Denmark? No, but we are currently at a... I assume they're on convoys somewhere. Alright. Where are these guys? Where do these guys need to park up? Oh, that's right, they park up in this part of the country. Yeah, here we go. We'll deploy these Jaegers, get them straight in. Come on. Where are you, Jaeger boys? Here we are. And... Why are you guys in Ukraine, honestly? What are you doing? Here we go. Beautiful, alright, these guys will figure their way over. Oh, that's right, yeah, we built the armor division. Ah, oh, that's right, there's an armor division. Right, I forgot they were the, were just the, um, the bike Jaegers. <laughs> oh, god, these are stupid divisions. These are just so, so dumb. So dumb. Alright, trench warfare, lovely. Let's go for a cavalry. Oh, actually, these are pretty terrible cavalry divisions. <sighs> I mean, let's just finish fitting out our cavalry division, right? Might as well actually make it a division. So, here we go. Cavalry, mobile, cavalry, cavalry, cavalry. Lovely. Give them the field hospitals. Okay, they're fully equipped. Actually, do you want to give them a tank? Yeah, sure. They're fully equipped, and they're fully equipped. Alright, so we're going to go for like two horsies. Lovely. Uh, we just want to start like training up some of our guys. We don't, wanna, we don't want an underwhelming army when we go to face the French. We go. We go like five by two. So that gives us. Okay, that means we've got two spots left. Oh, hang on. Two spots left in the army. That means one Jaeger, one armored division. Beautiful. That is exactly what we need. Oh fucking! Oh, I hate that so much. Clip. Oh my god. What the fuck? Why is that? I swear to God, like, if you click on random... I don't know why this is the way it is, but when you click this thing to assign units to an area, sometime you'll do it just fine. Other times, I think, is it if you click, like, here, maybe? No, maybe on, like, the portrait? What is it that causes it to actually go into, like, Gadivaron mode instead? No? Look at this! Look at this! It's not happening now. No? Maybe, like... Is it just here, in the background? No, not... You can't click the background. You can't click the background, so it's not that. New army. Gadivaron. No, I, I think I did it that time. Yeah, okay, let's try this. It's just, it's where it doesn't apply. Attention. Yeah, that, that that applied, didn't it? Oh, yeah, that time it didn't, I guess. Oh, wait, no, it did, it did because of the same color. All right, anyway. Point is, I just don't know why that happens. It's such a weird little bug. And, like, unless, is it, like, a certain area I'm clicking that does it? I don't, I don't know. It always the shit out of me, though, when I'm trying to sign it. Right. I want to go for... I should have actually gone for the manpower ones, but too late now. Because I thought we were getting more than we did. I thought we were going to get the Belgian Risers, but I guess we didn't. Infiltration's not bad. Assault is also pretty nice, though. Especially since we're going to go, uh, go mechanized eventually. Um, I mean, we obviously want to go mechanized because we've got that mechanized... Um, what do you call it? Boost? Where is it? That focus that gives us... Here we go. Invest in half-tracks. Yeah. I want to give all our guys mechanized uh, half-tracks. That should be like the next tech we research. Because mechanized units are really good. Really fucking good. Just going to make sure you get enough of them. Alright. We all equipped. Okay, these five boys are about to roll around. Let's prepare to justify this war. 105 days. Send that shit off. Oh, send that shit off. It's always weird how the actual, like... The, look, you can sort of see how far the text box actually goes down. Hang on, how far does it... There we go. That... Wait for it. That's the bottom of a text box in Hoi 4. I don't know why it does this, but anyway. Excellent. <laughs> I like how it's Leon de Grau just convincing the people. No, no, no. Be more like me, please. Please, please. Um... Is it? Oh, the girl's the only one that runs this. Wait. Wait, hang on, what? Wait a second. Hold on a second. If I just... Oh, if I just mouse over nothing, I think it shows me national populists. No? That's weird. Why is it, like, right here, in this very small point right here, Rex is also hiding? I don't know, I don't know why they're there, but sure thing. Okay. Weirdos. Right, what do we need to go for? Um, decryption. I just hate not seeing shit. Give me more decryption. Um, we'll get the, uh, mechanized in a moment. Right, more tanks. Beautiful. We probably want to go with, like, loads of light tank destroyers, bicycles. Oh, I just wish I could... 
back, what do you call it? Um, place bicycles. Why can't I place bicycles, damn it? I can't duplicate the bicycles I already have. My guys just can't figure out how to add more bicycles. They're like, this is already too big of a race. No more bicycles. No more, they say. No more. Right, what do you actually... Cut back on anything. I think we're actually looking pretty alright, production-wise. Might be... I think planes, we don't really want to get much more. We just don't have the manpower for them. I'm slowly building a competent navy. Oh, we need uh, resources. That's what we'll get. Here we go. Oh, uh, we got no convoys because the guys are all traveling. Fucking, of course. Right. Ah, boy. Okay, that's that's happening right now, isn't it? Right. United Communes. Right, let's actually find someone I can trade with in Europe. Sweden, maybe? Are you... Uh, it requires 10 still. I thought maybe could maybe because we had Denmark, I could trade with them directly. But the Russian state... Oh, shit, no, hang on, wait. Sweden, we could we could train directly. I read that as 10. Sorry, we have 10 available convoys. We require zero for this. Beautiful. Beautiful. Give me 10 more, maybe? Lovely, lovely. Oh, Bulgaria's cancelled some... Oh, what, what's with all the cancelling lend lease, guys? Come on. I'm still at war. Promise. Sweden. There we go. Okay, back in the production hotline, then. Good. I, just, I like how we don't even have the tech for the planes required to put on these carriers just yet, but uh, don't worry, one day we'll get there. Oh, we're at our max level and we only have four research slots. Man. 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 It's alright. We're gonna go, what? Probably, like, get the uh, aviation, what's called? The bombers and stuff f next, and then... Oh, we'll get, we'll get mechanized next, and then we'll get the uh, planes for our carriers. We only need a small amount of them, but I might just change over... Our fighter production just being the carrier fighter production, because to be honest, we don't really need standard fighters. We're not going to have that much of an air presence, um, just because the population required. I think it's what 100 fighters is how many men. And if we let's go new new wing, right? 100 fighters is how many? Stop! 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 stop, 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 stop. Well, we can't really see, but hang on, that's 20 fighters is four. Okay, right. So it's 2,000 pretty much. All right. Oh well. Um, we're gonna get in. More military factories. Yes, perfect. Can we declare war yet? No, how much longer? 56. DeGrell? Worry not. You're gonna get another colony. I'm so sad we couldn't get- Maybe we should reinvade the Congo. There's no one- They're not in a faction. There's no one with, like, uh... Oh, we're totally reinvading the Congo. Oh, yes. This is happening. Sudwest Africa. I guess they're, like, they're the remains of, uh, the place, aren't they? Union of Britain. I mean, we could always invade... I don't give us a good point to invade Britain when things kick off. There's actually a fair like a manpower down here, too. How's the Congo looking? Eh, not bad. Could be good to... It's not, like, manpower central, though. How, how good is Mongolia... Is, sorry, uh, Mongolia. Indochina. Oh, Indochina's great, actually. We, we're probably gonna get a nice little whack of, uh, non-core pop out of this. Even just 2%. Even though, oh, wow, it's actually only 600. Why is it... Base fit for service non-core states. That'd be 600 from that state. What? 1,000 from that state. I mean, it's still not bad. Like, a few thousand extras for taking over this place, and I'm mainly just doing it for their factories and shit. And, oh boy, these sweet motherfuckers are gonna be distracted. Oh, they won't know what hit them. Alright. Almost prepped. Last thing we're gonna do, gonna take the girl's pleasure yacht, park it up here. Gonna make sure we check out the, uh, the port before we land on it. <gasps> That's an unguarded port, darling. You've made a mistake. Oh no. Time to deploy my navy. All right, guys, are we ready? Navy is like the moment. It is go time. As soon as we uh, fucking hit go, come on. What are we doing? What are we doing? How much longer? Or is it uh, 93%? Okay, beautiful. How are they looking? Still, they've still got. Oh, they've got super high defense. Still, I remember that. Man, imagine full fucking what's it called mass assault, mass infantry. Like you know, what, what is it? One, two, three, four, five. Five by five. Yeah, five by five infantry divisions with 60% extra. <laughs> Defense. These divisions would be fucking unbreakable. You'd have to nuke them to get them out of the way. My god. I wish I had this. Fuck, what am I doing? I want the mechanized. Right, gimme. Actually, let me show the mechanized. Is there, actually, is there a unit for the mech- Oh man, that makes you so sad. Mechanized were like such a big part of World War II, and yet there's no fucking unit for them. Come on. Come on, man. There's a unit for them in Axis and Allies. Come on, dude. Oh, actually, no. Th wow, hang on. Wait. Wow, that's a la that's a lazy fucking- that's... Come on, look at that shit. Ooh, motorized units have a wheel. <laughs> Mechanized units have a track. Let's ignore the fact that this is still just a fucking truck. Which was, you know, the main reason behind mechanized things having guns and shit. Oh, God. Being support vehicles for infantry. 
It is kind of weird to feel to realize how much of the war was actually fought not with armored vehicles and like late war tech. A lot of the war was literally just like a lot of the war for most the majority of the war actually. I, I mean, actually think for all of the war. Well, I like how that slowly increased. Uh, the Germans actually never had enough um, motorized to completely motorize their army. They were always using horses for supplies. I mean, everyone was using horses for supplies, but I think it was the Yankees who were the first ones to sort of shift over after D-Day, which makes sense because it was a smaller force, massively supplied um, to use purely trucks and stuff. But uh, yeah, horses were used fucking everywhere. All right, let's do this. In we go, boys. All right. Sending off the invasion. They've called in Burma. That's fine. These guys don't have any in the way of a navy. What about Burma? No, nah, we're, we're so fine. We're so fine. Okay. So these guys are sailing on in. We're just going to bring around our pleasure yachts because the invasion's already kicked up. What the? Where are you guys fucking going? They're going on a pleasure cruise through fucking... Uh, what's it called? The, uh... Oh my god, Philippines. How's that? I was about to say the uh, Panama. I'm like, that's not right. Hey, hang on a second. That's not Okay. Wow, these fucking defense. All right. I like how it's the bicycle division that's attacking as well. Good job, bicycle division. Okay, quick. Send our boys around. You do much the same. One, two, three, four. Attack. Okay, leaving us three. You are going to swing down for their capital. You are going to hold the, pot, the spot. And you're going to go this way. Actually, you're going to go this way. Try and cut them off. You're going to do much the same, but you're going to go up a little bit. Okay, that's fine. And then what we're going to do here is we're just going to put a port down. Whoop. There we go. Lovely. Oh, wow. Oh, never mind. We're just going to fucking capture their port. Wow, I was actually afraid that we might not take it. Never fucking mind. Um, okay, well, let's just ride north then. Let's cut them off from the uh, south of their country, shall we? Yeah, you guys can just... You can be the guy that holds the fucking port. I'm going to leave... I always unassign a guy and just leave him in the fucking port. Because too many naval invasions have been lost because randomly I've noticed... Oh, my guys have left the port unguarded. Why have my guys left the port unguarded? Oh, <laughs> these divisions are so shit. Oh, man, I'm just fucking the Viet Cong up. You know, it, America couldn't beat him. All right, you know what? Helmuth von Muck, or whatever how his fucking name is. What, what, where are you? Where are you? I'm getting a fucking Dakamura of you. You, you couldn't beat the Viet Cong. You know who can beat the Viet Cong? Leon de fucking bro! Oh, man, that hurts my ears. I've got a, uh, I've got a little speaker on my uh, head, on my bloody headset that uh, lets me hear my own voice. However, obviously it peaks quite easily because it's just a headphone mic. Um, so whenever I scream Leon de Grell, you might think it hurts your ears. It hurts mine a lot more. I get like a feedback effect. And, oh God, it hurts, but I toughen through it because I know de Grell would tough through it for me. <laughs> he loves me. Or maybe just the fact that I keep featuring him in videos as he was a failed Belgian politician. What a lad. He actually survived the war, I found it recently. I went and looked up and it was like, oh shit, he was actually, he fled, um, someone, I just remember who, some nation, uh, refused, oh, oh, that's right, he, he, he fled north, I think, he got on an airplane, um, and he flew to Spain, and then Franco refused to give him up, saying that he was, uh, injured. I think, no, I think he actually crash-landed in Spain, which is fucking hilarious. Um, but anyway, anyway, so Franco refused to give him up, and uh, on top of that, when the Belgian authorities wanted him extradited to go back home, he, uh, Franco gave them a fake de Grel. They said like, yep, here's de Grel. De Grel escaped from hospital. They gave them a fake de Grel, and then, um, you know, it's like, like, I don't know, an, an imposter or whatever. And they're like, yep, enjoy, fuck off, leave us alone now. And so de Grel went on to live, did he live in Argentina? Where did he end up living? I can't remember, he died somewhere. He died of like a heart attack or something in the end. Dude lived a long time. Poor boy, watching his fucking entire <laughs> fucking Nazi occupation just fall to shit around him and going, hmm, maybe I shouldn't have been such a Nazi cunt. But it's okay, because in this timeline, he's an excellent person. He saved the country from collapsing. What a guy. Excellent person. Leads our troops. Haha. <laughs> now an imperialist. All right. Let's uh, get those planes going up. Yep, sure. Get those carry fighters up. Bye. Beautiful. Let's start focusing on taking out this country. God, it's just... It's nice, I've actually got a fair, fair whack of uh, fucking factories already. We're doing pretty bloody good around here. We ain't doing half bad. We might actually be able to, like, with this fucking place taken over, we should be able to put a serious production of uh, bloody half tracks. We can do some good. We can do some good. Oh, my God. Oh, mate. Oh, you haven't even seen me take everything over just yet. 
just you. Oh wait, no, I have. I've taken over the majority of it. Oh, all of the factories were here, in fact. <laughs> well, nice to see that that was uh, an entirely f false fact I just said. But no, oh, well. I mean, look, we've already got most of the country under control. It'll be right. A little bit more will do. Yeah, wait for these guys to cut themselves off and wait for. Yeah. And yep, okay. <laughs> Encircling the Viet Cong with a fucking bice. God damn it. Oh wow. Oh wow. They're getting troops out of everywhere. Holy shit. These boys are rocking up. Flangus Bolivia is gone. You guys all want peace treaties? I'm good. Wait, hang on. Is Australasia there? Actually, I would totally set with Australasia, except I totally want to capture Australasia. So, the moment you're not in the Entente, mate, you're fucked. You're fucked, cunt. The moment you're not. All right. Anyway, how's the Siamese looking? Ah, oh, they're pretty good. We'll take them on in a moment. I'm not sending in the rest of my troops. I'm afraid of supply issues. How are we looking on supply? Oh, actually, we're doing really well, actually. All right. Well, in that case, I guess I'll send my troops in. Okay. There we go. Beautiful. Should be right. Pull back. Uh, don't get surrounded, mate. Don't get surrounded, mate. Don't get surrounded, mate. No. Nope. Okay. Well, you fucked it. You fucked it hard. Honestly, who's this? You fucked it. You're speaking French. All right. That's how we know you fucked it. You're, you're dead, mate. You're dead. God damn it. Oh, well. Here we go. The, problem, the providers have proper resistance now. We'll pull back. That's fine. Take this spot. Because actually, their attacks aren't too bad. I don't know why their shit brigades are all down south, but they're clearly actually shaping up. Let's kill these guys and get our guys actually focused on the north again. Here we go. Send the guys up. Beautiful. Alright, this is fine. We only lost one boy. He'll be he's replaceable. Don't worry. Here we go. Actually, how many how many units was that? Oh fuck, nine thousand. Uh, that's a lot that's a lot of, that's a lot of Belgians, alright? De Grill will forever remember that in his book of shame. His book of his book of secret shames. Ooh. What's in DeGrell's book of secret shames today? Ooh, this one's gonna send him get him sent to prison for several years. Oh, and look at this one! Bill Cosby's his personal hero. Yay. Oh boy. That is um Leon DeGrell doesn't touch children. T children touch him in his heart. Which is why he kisses babies' heads so often. What the fuck is it? <laughs> like, I'm slowly painting Leon DeGrell as some sort of fucked up child molester, which, I mean, honestly, is probably better than what he actually did. Um, right. Here we go. In we go. At least then his reach would have been limited to about, you know, the range. <laughs> about the fuel capacity of an ice cream truck. <laughs> oh, no. Did they beat Germany while I wasn't? Look. What? In the actual fuck. No. 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 Oh boy. Well. <laughs> yes! Perfect! I'm in the Entente now! Wallonia has joined the Entente! <laughs> Poor fucking Germans. Wait, oh my god, the United States in the... Oh, wow. The Entente has just gone to war with them? Seriously? Hot fucking damn. Alright, well, the Reichsback's gone, but just Germany capitulated, which is weird, but they didn't really. Why are they not... I think, okay. No, okay, they have capitulated. Oh, shit, I got hiccups now, I hope. They have capitulated, but I guess, like, the rest of the Reichsback is still at war with them? Yeah, I joined the I joined the fucking uh, council. Nice. Yeah, well, okay. So the rest of the Reichsback is still at war with them, but uh, the Reichsback's actually gone. And but uh, um, what do we want? Christ, let's actually get. Oh, let's get recruitment population. Oh, but I want speed, and it gives me mechanized as well. Yeah, we're getting staff and maneuver. Oh shit. Uh, okay, it's fine. Whatever. We'll we'll worry about. We're doing fine on population for now, but holy shit, they haven't like. Is that is that all the land they took? Cause like it's the they haven't done anything over here, have they? What's happened to like Tizingtau? Is oh, oh, oh Tizingtau was always owned by them, wasn't it? Right. So are the Germans completely gone then? I'm guessing they are. If we look at the Germans, okay, the Germans are completely gone. Kaiser Wilhelm's gone, but somehow the Reichsback's still fighting back. What is happening in this war? I've never seen this before. The Reichsback are fighting back. The Entente's here. Sardinia's having a fight. It's a grand old time, honestly. All right, let's focus on the uh, Viet Cong, though. Here we go. Let's get him out of here. Beautiful. So what am I doing? I should be cutting these guys off. Here, actually, guys, pull back. I'm going to send up some guys to go cut off the Viet Cong. Here we go. 
Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Okay, send them in. Beautiful. Actually, pull these guys back. Just control attack you. You're gonna attack you to slow you boys up. They're gonna- oh, what the fuck? That's not what I wanted! Damn it. Okay, you guys attack him. You attack him to slow them. You're attacking them. Perfect. Alright, move on up. Come on, we got six guys coming. Good jobs. Good jobs, lads. Come on. You'll break through eventually. Swing them around. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're taking this shit on. Beautiful. Come on. Come on. We're almost through. And beautiful. Done. Little surround. Close it in. Nice and neat. Nothing too much. They're gone. Lovely. Alright. Moving up here. Oh, beautiful. We're just bashing through nice and quick whilst they're on the offensive. Lovely. Turns out not having entrenchment kind of fucking sucks, doesn't it, uh, the Viet Cong? Yeah, turns out you kind of need your tunnels. Turns out you kind of bit shit without them. Look at this. Look at this shit. Look at Peru falling. Actually, don't, because I'm not looking at them right now. Oh, shit. I forgot we have the fucking Air Force, don't we? Oh, shit. Peru and Flingus Bolivia is gone. No, oh, well. Here we go. Let's call in the Air Force. Send them in. Beautiful, beautiful. Fucking going up north. Having a grand old time. Assault concentration. Here we go. Give me more of that shit. Alright, maybe pull back. We haven't been so successful anymore. That's fine. Let's keep pushing here. Oh yeah, send the bicycles up. We'll send like half of you guys in here. Beautiful. Keep going, brave bicycles. Here we go. We're going to get that port in the north. If we can just ride the all the way up. Actually, we can just cut- we can probably cut them all off in the jungles here, can't we? Oh boy, they're gonna go for a run through the fucking jungle. Oh yes, here we go. Two here. Wait, why can't you- You can't enter that province? Why? But I can enter that province, why can't you enter that province? Come now. Well, actually, I probably can't. I'd get arrested if I did that. Yeah, keep going. What are you- What are these fucking bikes doing? Why, is it hard to ride through the jungle or something? Fucking pansy- oh. Okay. There's, uh, some guys here. You guys want to retreat, maybe? Okay, go after the port instead. That's what I'd much rather. Oh, did they just... I just abandoned Hanoi. <laughs> that is a sneaky surround. That's called the, uh, the faking a fullback, only to pop out in front and surprise them. Huzzah! Why are the Yankees here? Get out of here, Yankees. We don't want you. We don't want you. You're no help. Come on. You think you're really going to solve Vietnam? All right, now excuse me while I crush them in a fucking surround, all right? Look, the fucking Yankees could never do this shit. Which makes me wonder, why didn't the Yankees do like a naval invasion of North Vietnam? I mean, actually, I never, look, I never looked enough into the strategy of, North Viet, of the North I Vietnamese. Sure. I guess because it wouldn't really matter, would it? It's just going to be more jungle fighting and you'll have even less supply line. Anyway. I'm going to go for my long son over here. <laughs> my Lang son. Lang son! Actually let's, leave, actually, let's leave this guy here. He'll be fine there. Uh, bicycle boy, you can uh, stop chasing jobs. Good. Perfect. Just going to crush all these poor Vietnamese gorillas here. In a brutal surrounding maneuver. Ah, oh, this is this is beautiful, though. I love I love fighting in Indochina. Actually, like the fighting around here is really good fun because of these little mountain ranges here that you can sort of get surrounds on real easy. Ah, oh, beautiful. How many so far? Two hundred and fifty. Oh shit! The Burmese have lost. Oh wait, hang on. That's a separate war, right? Two hundred fifty-five thousand to me. To my thirty-five thousand. Holy shit, guys! Bye. We're kind of tearing them up here. All right, here we go. Punch through. You guys can clean up the rest of the country. You guys can do much the same. What's the division limit left? Three divisions. All right, go, guys. Just end this. Come on. Uh-oh. All right, we're back. My apologies. I had to do the crash thing again, because that's really fun. And I had so I had to do the fucking reload, unload, autosave, mash, bash, monster mash. Grand old fun time. Anyway, that's done. That's solved. It just takes an exceptionally long amount of time. It's just really annoying doing the middle of a recording because I forget what the fuck I was talking about. Anyway, let's finish up by conquering these guys. Send off these guys there. Oh, hello. Don't, don't, be, don't you be threatening my Ardenese Jaegers. All right, come on. Fucking bicycle boys. Bicycle boik. Here we go. Head these boys off north. And that's the country. This is ridiculous, by the way. That I, Oh, wait. The fucking Indo-Chinese require 100%, don't they? Oh, because of their fucking guerrilla tactic. Oh, God. Is it still a thing? Uh, no, wait, oh, no, there you go, yep, farther on front, yep, plus 20%. Ah, oh, you literally have to capture every last fucking drop of their country. Oh, boy. You've had an exciting gameplay. Oh, boy. We good? Oh, oh, what's happening? Oh, fucking autosave, right, Jesus. Lang Sang, man, come on now. 
It's all right. Let's just waste an, un, like a needless amount of lives right. running through the fucking jungle to finish capturing this bloody country. Transmit Republic so mate. Who's invading them? What? Holy shit! The Qing got strong. I guess the Germans were just holding them back. Holy fuck! Ah, oh, wow. Holy shit. They uh, they got buff. They got buff quick. All right, quick kill these boys, and that is the country captured. Finally. Here we go, take all states. We've got what? Hang on a second. Uh, ten minutes left. So, let's finish it up. In the Chinese Union, yes, yes, it's all mine. Yes, yes. I've already got a hundred million non-core under my uh, control. That's primarily from here. Like, and is it this island? Yeah, 30 million, 17 million. So, uh, oh, actually, 60,000 on that small little area, wow. Look, there's a lot of millions, okay? Indochina, uh, Indochina, sorry, Indonesia rather, is one of the strongest nations to play. The problem is they start with zero factories, like at all. You get nothing until you break free from the Netherlands, because they take all of your factories. Um, the only way you can actually get anything is when you break free and you use focuses and stuff. But when you do, you get super fucking strong. And actually, that's that's something as well. Um, the the uh, Indone it's called Indians in the main game. They have what's called like agrarian society, which doesn't really exist here, but it means that all of their manpower is like minus 60% or whatever. It's like, minus, no, minus like 40% recruitable population, right? If someone was able to core their territory, they wouldn't have that same modifier, so they would get all of India's manpower and it would just be hilariously broken, which is why using coring states with India is like the dumbest thing in the world. Like not as India, that is. Anyone who invades India and cores their states is just so fucking strong. They have infinite manpower, basically. Um, all right, liberate a united no China, Vietnam. No, 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 no. <laughs> Liberation. Liber- No, no. I mean, we wouldn't actually- If I could take over India, it wouldn't be a bad idea to do that, just for the puppet, like, manpower. Actually, but- ah, they've got a lot of factories, though. All right, look, we're gonna- we're gonna occupy them. Fate of Denmark? Wait, what? Oh, okay. I mean, like, I'm still gonna occupy them. If I liberated Denmark entirely- Oh wait, no, they wouldn't they wouldn't get Jutland as well. I was gonna say I wanna get it back from the Cindies. Oh my god, what has happened? Oh right, they've gone German socialists. Alright, occupy him. Why is that why did that just trigger now? That was weird. Anyway. So let's uh join up against Oh wait, no, fuck. Oh, you're not actually at war with I mean, we're still gonna go to war with them, I think, because to be frank, the Japanese are fucked at this point. They're just being beaten back into their island. They're like, they've got no match for the uh, the Chinese, so... I mean, like... Only problem is the Navy, but... You know what, it's fine. Look, whatever. We're gonna we're gonna bring these guys down to Chinatown. Um, political, that's fine, we'll get political power. Alright, so that's cool. Let's actually start building up our, uh, our stuff then. Now we got like, all that going. All that stuff on the jog, on the run. Alright. Here we go, let's uh, send up the mechanized boys. We want to start building some of these guys. This is what we'll need. These will be the true Ardennes Jaegers. Here we go. Um, leave that like so. That'll be fine. Actually, can we like... Uh, I was going to say, can we... Wait, can you not convert in Kaiserreich? Sure you can. Is it... It's in the game. Do I just... I guess I just don't have equipment to convert? Maybe, but I should, surely. Hmm, weird. All right. Yeah, you can convert. All right, maybe I just don't have it. Maybe maybe they maybe they stop you from letting converting infantry equipment because normally you should be able. Anyway, right. Uh, we need light tanks. We need uh, bloody light tank destroyers. That's fine. So we need to keep cutting back. Let's just cut back on the tanks. Then oh yeah, hang on. We we need to. Uh, I've got carrier fighters now, so I'm gonna switch these up to being carrier fighters. Also, just gonna like buff our carrier fighters. I guess oh, they've only got five, and the mi minimum is 15, isn't it? No, 25, right? Can we, uh, can we boost our tanks, maybe? Our light tank destroyer ones? Sure. Let's boost up their armor and their reliability. Engine, 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 and engine. Now let's go reliability down. Beautiful. All right. New light ta uh, tank destroyer, Mark 1. Lovely. Beautiful. Cut back on that. That's doing fine. Cut back on that. Got enough, uh, transport motorized. We'll cut back on that a little bit, actually. Okay. I want everything focused into getting enough, uh, mechanized. Oh boy. Oh, I guess there goes all of the, uh, yep, Belarus. Wait, hang on. Oh, wait, what? How do they become national? Wait, how do the Russians take them over? Okay. Ukraine's still at war. Poland is still at war. 
I guess it was just Belarus that fell then. All right. The Romanian Republic, these guys are social conservatives, huh? Part of, uh, oh, I guess Hungary's not really going to war anytime soon. I hope they would. They'd probably kick the fucking Cindy's ass. They've got, uh, oh, actually, no, they really wouldn't. They've not got enough manpower. Damn, look at this guy, though. <laughs> Rudolf Rocker. What a fucking name. Holy shit. All right. Let's uh, pull back what we don't need. That's fine. What we don't need. That's fine. What we do need, darling baby. Wait, why is this not actually... No, oh, this... <laughs> not fucking trading enough with this anymore. All right. Trade with the Cindy's. That's fine. And, okay, we're looking good. We're all equipped up. Have our carrier ready soon enough. In only seven months, will DeGrell's carrier roll out the uh, roll out the door. It'll be beautiful. It'll be amazing. Trade convoy production costs down. We could either go fleet and being and get more doctrine stuff, which sounds boring, or we go boost maritime uh, commerce, which means construction and more convoys and more dry docks, which sounds fucking awesome. Let's go do that shit. Ah, uh, yeah. Gadifronsk. Lovely. Um. We're suffering with, uh, equip- oh, sorry, with bloody supply up here, so we're just gonna boost this- Oh, wow, because it, it was one infrastructure! That would be why. I'm beginning to understand. I'm beginning to get the reasoning. Here we go, Where, where's- where's the incoming port? So it's either here or here. Um, which, yeah, we're just gonna fill this port in a little bit more as well, so, here. Wait, what happened to all our fucking civvy factories? Why is it suddenly super fucking high? Partial mobilization, very low stability. I swear we had more civvy factories before this. Oh, is it because we took over mostly... I think it's because we just took over a lot of military factories. No? We still have a weird amount of... Uh, what's it called? Bloody uh, military factories now. Oh, well. Not military factories. Well, fuck, what am I trying to say? A weird amount of... Uh, restricted. Uh, maybe the trading goods? Not really. I mean, we were trading goods before now. I guess we're just trading a lot more for steel. Maybe we should cut back slightly. Yeah, stop trading with the Cindy so much here. Just give us like two factories back. I want to finish that shit a little bit quicker. Yeah, alright, that's fine. Uh, Naval Bomber Part 2. Then we'll get, uh... It's called Naval Bombers on Carriers. How long do we can declare war on you? 23 political power away. We'll probably have to declare war next time. I like how Siam was like an Indochina was enough for like one episode of fucking work. Just to get into there, Jesus. Oh, Arabia's been made, nice. And the Mashri Kingdom as well. Oh, it's all because they're puppets of Iran, right. The Republic of Iran, who has gone market liberal. How is it the most democracies in the Middle East this time? This is a fucking strange timeline, hang on. Oh wow, you guys are all fucking democracies. Wow, they're all market liberals. You're kidding- oh no, hang on, Yemen's just being a bit of a cunt. Uh, as is mu a musket, rather. What are we doing? Mashriq, yeah, what about Turkey? Turkey's authoritarian dem. Right, eh? I mean, I mean, you know what? It's not, it's not a bad timeline. How about these guys? Social Democrat. Oh, well. What? When did you take over, Roosevelt? Little shit dick. What is, uh, what is War Plan Purple? I've completely forgotten. DeGrow would like to know. Oh, oh, right. It's the one where you invade Pax Americana. Right. Right. Oh, you've joined the Entente, obviously. Cool. Nice. God, I just need to get my fucking uh, stability up, because we're suffering so bad. I guess it's because, yeah, we've got really low stability. I guess that's probably why we lost to Civi Factories. Because, ah, th that'll probably be it. Because before we were on, like, 30, and now we've dropped below 30. I'm guessing, yeah, very low stability, 20%. For some reason, though, we're not getting the static stability buff. Normally, when you go to very low stability, you slowly get a buff that will bring you back up. And when you go to high stability, you get a buff, uh, debuff that will bring you back down. But we're not getting that, which is really fucking weird. So we're gonna need to spend- Oh! Okay, so my stability's broken. What the fuck, game? Alright, let's just set my stability at 50, because otherwise this is actually just gonna drive me mental. Stability 50? Stab 50? I'll find the command next time. So my stability's broken! That's fun! I don't have the event that will let me increase it. It's not getting affected by the, uh... way Kaiserreich's meant to work at normally. And, as nice as Leon de Grel is, there's nothing I can actually do to increase my stability. So, I'm just sort of fucked when it comes to stability. And that means that I'm taking a huge negative. Um, so I guess... Is it around here? Is it like, very low stability? No, I think it's just a static... Oh no, here we go, very low stability. Yeah, so I just, I can't change this. Well, I will, uh, I will see you next time, lads. And by next time, I will figure it out, the, uh, the cheat that will let me change my stability and, uh, and actually fix this shit. But until next time, everyone, thank you all for watching. This has been Leon DeGrell. 
<laughs> and his colonial ambitions. And it's actually really quite good fun. Here we go. We'll just start the uh, start the war for next time. Okay, you're in the Chinese faction. That's fine by me. Let's get Japan invaded. Oh wait, the Chinese faction? The Japanese faction, rather. Oh well, we still can't finish that shit. Alright. Farewell.